Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. Today we're flipping over into chapter 20, verses 1 and 2. We're going to call this the authority chase, part one, two parts. Let's read it. Now it happened on one of those days as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel that the chief priest and the scribes, together with the elders, confronted him and spoke to him, saying, Tell us, by what authority are you doing these things, or who is he who gave you this authority? So they are challenging Jesus directly. They're in the open. The people are listening, and they approach Jesus, and they say, you know, how is it that you're doing this? Now, look at what's going on. We're going to see tomorrow the conclusion of this sequence. But I want you to notice that there's always an authority chase. There's always a plan. That people get inter unhappy when you interrupt their authority. When the authority is being used legitimately, people don't want it to be used legitimately. When it's being abused and used illegitimately, the people who are using it illegitimately do not want you to interrupt them. And so we have this continuing exercise of authority and there's a there's going to challenge you. There's whenever there's a, a use of, of religious authority, someone's going to challenge it because the devil is always there somewhere in the details to challenge the proper use of spiritual authority. So just kind of plan on that. That's kind of built in. It's like it kind of goes with the if you if you're a cook in the kitchen, there's things that go with that. This is part of the things that go with that. If you're gonna be a Christian person, you're gonna to have to sort out issues of authority. Am I going to go by what the government says? Am I going to go by what the doctor says? Am I going to go by what my insurance company says? Am I going to go by what the Lord of heaven and earth say? Am I going to go by what my spouse says? Am I going to go by what my boss says? We need to sort it out in our mind how we can be faithful to Jesus no matter what in any, in any relation. So there's always an authority chase. And here Jesus is in his own temple. And now the people have come. They are there to absolutely challenge him to his face. By what authority are you doing this stuff? We subtext. Stop teaching here. Stop what you're doing. You're destroying our own authority. Let's see what happens tomorrow morning as we follow through. But right now, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, please be our leader. We pray that you will help us when it comes to questions of authority. Help us to know how we can make the authority of God always first. And so, Lord, we ask you for this simple request. It's challenging for us. Help us to put you first. Help us to know how to do that. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. May God's blessings be with you today as you follow the authority of the King of the universe.